Hey guys, Kurt from the Bowshot Bible Development Team and in this video we're going to do a product spotlight of the Revolution Arrow Saw by Last Chance Archery. If you're going to build your own arrows, you're going to need an arrow saw and why not get the best one on the market. This saw uh, uh, delivers on versatility, it has many tools built into it, it's made of high quality components, uh, it performs extraordinarily and it has safety in mind. So let's go over the parts of this saw and uh, you get a good grasp of why we really like this saw. Starting with this end here, this is the motor end. The motor spins the cutting wheel at 10,000 revolutions per minute. Super fast blade, really quick cuts. That motor blade is housed right here. Uh, it's enclosed except for two spots. One is, uh, actually three spots. One that's gonna let you cut your arrow and then there's a hole here that allows you to, once you cut your arrow, you can square up your arrow shaft by putting it onto the built-in arrow spinner. That's right in line with that hole that goes into the housing. And there's an abrasive pad on that cutting blade. And all you do is just touch it right to it, quickly pull it off. Now your arrow end, end is completely square. On the back end of the blade housing, there's a, there's a tube. The outside diameter is an inch and three eighths, and that's gonna work for a lot of vacuums. The one that we use, and this, this is part of the safety system. The one that we use is like a three and a half horsepower um, rigid vacuum. And, and, and that end of our hose is a little bit too big. So we made an attachment that you can pick this up off of our website, shootingtime.com. Um, this fits into the middle part here. If you have a larger shop vac, it'll fit into the outside. And then that fits in here. So what we have here is a safety system. Anytime you cut carbon arrows, you're gonna emit fine carbon dust particles into the air. Carbon dust is bad for the lungs. So what we have here is not only a vac system, but a water drip system. And if you've ever been into the trades or you saw somebody cutting concrete, they're gonna, if they're doing it right, they're gonna use a wet saw. So what that does is that waters down the dust before it gets a chance to get airborne. So looking at their water drip system you have a reservoir here at the top you're going to fill that up with water and prior to cutting your arrow you're going to have that filled up you got a valve here on the back you're going to turn your vacuum on then you're going to turn your dripper on so now as it drips it's being sucked into the shop vac and then you're going to turn your saw on this eliminates any possibility of any of the dust getting into the uh, in environment um, at a minimum, if you can't utilize the water drip system for whatever reason, at least have a vacuum on with the HEP filter to help keep that air clean. Uh, I can't think of any other saws that have this feature, so that's a really good feature. Um, we've already talked about the arrow spinner. That's a good way to cull your arrows, what end you should cut, get rid of the wobbles. Um, and then we're gonna move down here to how we adjust our cut. So this is an extruded aluminum body. And how things attach to that are through uh, nuts that fit into this little grooved part of the extruded aluminum. So this back end here is what you're going to push your knock into your arrow into. And you could do this with a knock or carbon to the back plate. We're going to do carbon to the back plate. Here we have a, a serious Gemini um, 300 shaft that we're loading into here. You pull this arrow retainer up, you slide your arrow in and it locks it into place. Very secure, but it still does allow you to turn it while cutting, okay? Now to set your length of your cut, you're going to back off that lockdown system and then you're gonna slide it. And you're gonna see this measuring tape here in the front of the saw. That measures from this plate that the end of the carbon shaft is butted up to to the inside of that cutting disc or wheel and it is exact so there's no uh, there's no worrying about whether if it's going to be off an eighth to a quarter of an inch that is done on we've checked it um, so that that accuracy is great to have and when you get to your measurement let's say we're going to take this to 30 we'll go right there just take that 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 lockdown screw and just Give it a slight twist. Once that's on, that's not moving. What's gonna happen is if you twist that too tight, the frame is aluminum. You could make a little bit of a dent into that because it's one of the softer metals. And then when you go to loosen it to adjust it to a different length for maybe the next set of arrows to cut, it may get caught up. 
okay and if it does get caught up you're gonna have to back out that screw and if you back it out too far you're gonna lose that nut but have no fear because if you lose that nut which I'm gonna do here on purpose okay, there it is all you do is completely take the screw out and slide this nut out of that channel and then you want to just get it started a little bit catch a couple threads and then you want to slide it back in and that's all there is to it we are back in business and like I said once you tighten this back down just a little bit of tension on there that baby is not moving now if I back it off though I can move it just when you start to feel it grab it's not moving so you are good the last thing I want to look at with the saw is one of my favorite features um, with my older arrow saws when you when you put the knock in into the holder and you moved it into the saw blade there was nothing to catch it um, the guys at Last Chance Archery actually have steel dowels that are built into this cutting plate. What that does is that allows you to push the arrow into the blade and let it cut the wall and then have the steel dowels have, be kind of like a backstop for your arrow. So once you go through the blade, it just goes a little bit, cuts the wall, that shaft, and hits that, that steel pin, and then you can spin it. That's a real nice way to keep your arrow shaft square to the uh, cutting disc um, and this is adjustable as is this back end and why that's important if you want to be super um, square with your setup um, as this blade wears down you can actually move the cutting shelf in and as you see here if you get a close-up there you'll see how that steel pin um, is recessed back behind the cutting disc, but as that cutting disc squares down, you're going to have to move this in. Just match the marks on the cutting shelf with the marks on the arrow retainer, and that will keep your arrow square to the frame. It's a really great system. And once you do cut through that blade and hit that steel pin, you could give it a glance down to eyeball your shaft against the frame. If it's parallel, it's going to be very obvious. You're going to see it. It's going to match perfectly. Um, but that's it. We're going to do some uh, arrow cutting right now just to give you a close look at how, how it operates. Uh, but if you're in the market for an arrow saw, without a doubt, check out the Revolution Arrow Saw by Last Chance Archery. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, let's go ahead and cut a shaft here, uh, but let's look at the steps to ensure that we are as safe as we can be with the carbon dust. So we have the reservoir filled with the water. We're going to turn the water drip system on, but before we do that, we're going to turn our vacuum on. It's going to get a little bit loud, but vacuum, then water drip system. Then we're going to cut the shaft, and then we will close the valve, turn the vacuum off, and that will be that. So let's go with the vacuum. Water drip. And you can see it going down the clear tube. Now we're going to turn the saw on. the arrow on the squaring device. We got the arrow now on the squaring device. We're just going to tap it to the cutting blade to square up our end. Spin it around. We can do the other end as well. Now this arrow is ready for fletching.